Alright guys, so um, last night I finished up the... Um, let's have a look at this. Uh, I finished up the, the whole build, um, which was really good, the actual tutorial itself. So yeah, that was that was literally last night. It was about... probably about 20 to 10 last night, I think it was. So like that, I was able to finish it, so I've got a lot of editing to do. Um, first things first though, one of the things that I actually do and get all sorted first is... Um, doing the, the cinematic because I haven't actually recorded that at all so I usually do that at the end and there's a reason for that um, with this one I actually did do a couple edits on the way so it has changed a little bit um, so that'll be that will kind of be shown in the obviously the, in the actual tutorial itself we actually do show what those little tweaks are um, these are just like things that I just saw as I was because you have to remember that um, when I'm doing the tutorial and all I'm doing at the minute is I'm just taking a good copy of this so I've got a good schematic because the one that I've just built is going to be the most accurate. So I've just showing you guys how to build every single bit of it and any mistakes that have been corrected or whatever. It's usually just a motor update. But yeah, you have to remember that I only build half of the ship ever. So um, when I've done the tutorial, I've now built the entire ship each side as well. So you do see things from the other side uh, that you wouldn't have done before. So it's a bit weird uh, that way. There we go. That's fine. So if I just copy that and export it. It's the reason I've copied it as well. It's not just because, uh, you know, it's part of its force of habit that I just every, every time I copy it, but there we go. If we save that again, so again we're overwriting that other file. And also if we open or load world, I think it's load world. Can I? Let's have a look. going to work. Maybe, or it's going to get stuck. There we go. Load world, we're going to load the space promo map. God, I've got too many worlds at the moment. So this space promo map is where I had it before. Um, so I'm going to overwrite it. Is basically what I'm going to be doing here. And I also need to do a change to it as well. So let's just copy the air, bring that. If we get it exactly in line, then I'll kind of just know it will work. Right, so there's the, the free down there. Let's go up a little bit, maybe. Is that right? That looks right, doesn't it? So if I go back, then it does something weird. If I go forwards. Yeah, it should just overwrite everything. That looks great to see this you can see the changes here those extra bits so yeah, that's one of the things we got uh, so we're just going to do that right that should have just sorted all that bit out um, you'll notice that whenever you have um, like the space frame map all it is is a flat world I've destroyed the land um, I just deleted it you can do it I think but actually you can do it if we're doing it another way but it's just the way that I've always done it so yeah we're gonna replace as well uh, because I'm using this Star Wars text program I'm making one of the things that's actually in there is that I use. Oops, kind of eight. There we go. Um, use stained clay has got the paneling type texture on it, so I'm just going to replace those. But in the tutorial, I did it another way, so I've got to switch that over. Um, also, the same with grey wall as well. Replace that. So one five nine colon colon seven as well. Shove that in. Um, replace that. And that should do it. So if we just save this. And I'll, I'll show you what I do for the cinematic thing. Um, there you go. So that's all saved. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> God damn it. Let's not go on that. Let's go back. So what we've got over here, space promo map. That's the one we want. And you'll notice it looks like it looks really bad like this. But it's um, because that's not supposed. To, that's not that's what it's not supposed to look like. If we go and load up the, this is the one that I'm messing around with called the DACA side texture pack. There we go. Dark side, DACA side. Get it? Yeah. Nice and easy. Um, so if we load up that one. And have a look at this. Do, 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 do. Once it gets there. Shouldn't this take a lot longer than I thought it would take? I don't get this as well. Like, Flows HD 1.9 legal. I'm, I'm guessing that just means that it won't complain. That it. It's literally you change like a 1 to a 2 or something. That's really weird. With Flows. <laughs> But, but with the 1.9 stuff, because they changed the text pack format, it's really weird. Oh god, that's taking ages. Right, well, while it's doing that anyway, we need to do something anyway. So if we're just on this screen, all I'm going to be going on to is my D drive. Um, I've got the YouTube stuff, I've got this. Make sure that I haven't got any extras. These bandy cam things here. Um, that one is one where I was recording the wrong screen for this video. Uh, the next one here, this is the one we're recording right now. So all of those have already been transferred over into the ISD 1 temp, and this is what I'll be doing later anyway. Let's see if it's loaded first. Oh, it's loaded anyway. Right, we won't go on to that yet. I'll show you guys that in a second um, after we get the video done. So, yeah, what I'll do is I'll load up... 
And the one I use for the space stuff, I think it's Soldiers. No, it's definitely not Soldiers. V4 Extreme. Doesn't look right either. That looks way too bad. There's one of them. There's one texture pack I've got. Oh, Zeus. Zeus, I've got some problems with. He does this. And I don't understand what the hell's going on with it. It's really weird. All of my Zeus is almost like corrupted. So we can't use Zeus. Um, oh, there can't be any of those. Cartoon shaders is just weird. Yeah, I can't remember which shader pack I actually use now. CUDA is okay. Actually, CUDA's not too bad. Maybe I've been using CUDA one uh, version 6. What's version 5 like? Version 5's okay. 6 looks a little bit brighter. 6 doesn't look bad. Hasn't got the Death Star in the background. That's what I know. And I'm using the right one. So these are all broken somehow. Zildas. It's not Zildas and it's not V4 Extreme. Maybe I've lost it somewhere. It's possible. Let me have a look. Let's open up our shaders folder. Kuda V4 Extreme. Come across the sun. Zildas. No, I've not lost it. Which is a bit annoying. That's fine. So we might have to do it with uh, Kuda shaders. Can't remember what else I used before, but that's obviously fine. Old lighting on. So I do and usually mess around with a couple of these. Tweak block damage on. Cloud shadow off. Hand depth, that's alright. Normal map on off, whatever. Um, you can start up in these, it gets a bit of a nightmare though. Right, now that because I've changed that, it's now gonna like totally lag out. So we might as well show you the rest of the stuff. So I've got a couple of in Sony Vegas. A couple of there we go, templates, I'll just call them temp. Um, and it, all that's really in this temp, like, oh, this is wrong. Something went wrong yesterday, there, that's what I want, that's my normal view. Right, so what I've got in here is I've got the different, you know, join the DAC range, those, those uh, end things, a couple of bits of music that I usually use, like Peace of Mind. Uh, that shouldn't actually be in there at all. But, first things first, I always create a copy of it, so we're just going to do ISD 110 tutorial. Because um, otherwise I end up like loading wrong things. I've already created the profile things for these, so it does it does take quite a while to actually do that. Um, now all of this footage is in chronological order, which is good. So we got from the 20th to the 21st. So yeah, you see I finished well. The last take was at um, 9:34, so it was, that's when I was ended. So there we go. Right, and then I just drop this in. Or oh, not? Apparently, it's really got stuck today. Right, and that's fixed as well. Right. I don't want bloody Windows Media Player. I hate it. <laughs> right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the other screen to copy it. But all I do is I just drag, drop, and then we'll save it. And then we'll uh, leave it. I don't know why that's got Media Offline on it. Why has that got Media Offline on it? That Media should not be offline. Okay, so that's all been dropped in there. You can see it's like four and a half hours. Um, I'll be showing you guys a little bit of the editing process as well. Yes, yeah, the media is there. I just was struggling with it then. Uh, but if I just grab all of this, and I usually move it along quite a couple minutes, and then as then I get like this bit where it's just one continuous stream, and then the bit that isn't. But if we just save that for now, because we need to put in the intro, we need to decide the music that we got for the intro, because um, we've got you know bits of free music. So uh, in my music, these are all the like free ones, stuff like Machinima Sound, and I've just taken a, a good chunk of them. I've got them all in here. Um, stuff as well, like in Compatech as well. Um, and I've just got like templates to put my videos for all the music. So that's the way that I do it. Um, I just grab a couple of them. Like I've got some Native American ones if I ever get into that. Celtic and Folk, you guys might notice that from the Hobbit series. I use a lot of those ones. Um, Audio Nautics. What was this one? This was to do with... There you go. So like sometimes I do this with the license. I'll put that in there. That's because that's one I haven't used before. So yeah. But what's that for? Oh, that's a different type of settings, and that's just a you know, thing, random stuff. So yeah, that's what I usually do. So literally just save that, leave that. That's my four and a half that I'm going to be working on today or or this evening. Uh, so if we close that, right, we need to get a good thing. So what I use for this, uh, what's what's the mod I use for this? Let's, let me have a look. I'm going to open up the shader pack folder. Uh, the mod I use for this is called Camera Studio. There you go. So because I'm on one point, damn it. Just they change that. Because I'm on one point. Um, I just need to make sure my video settings is on far. One point seven uh, for it. I can use. I can use. You know, Camera Studio. 
Now, there's a couple things I need, which is like invisibility, which means my character doesn't get seen. Um, I'll show you just a little bit of this. Where is it? I can't even find it. So let's just. All I need is that one. So I've got the night potion, night vision one, but I don't really need it. This guy is moving. Really creepy as well. How's moving? This isn't not going to have a death star in the background. That's any problem. Right, so I need to find out where I want my sh my first shot from. Um, and that is difficult to figure out. I don't even know if I want. I might want it on normal as well for this one, because otherwise, with it being in such a big build, it doesn't quite look right. So I want it to make it look like it's far away, and I don't actually think. I'm looking at it. It looks a little bit lonely as well. So I'm gonna do some other stuff. So I'm gonna move away from this bit here. And the, th the thing about this is I can do it at any time, but <laughs> I always do it before recording because you might as uh, not before recording before um, editing because then it's all it's all it's all there then it's all sorted. So I might do. It's bringing a couple of tie photos. It just looks too alone. Uh, I might bring in another one of it as well, maybe. So we get two of them. I look cool. Yeah, right. So if we. Yeah, we'll have to, you know, do all that stuff with it, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to bring in another one. Don't need to copy the air. If you just bring it over here. Go back quite a bit. And also go up. So then when we get that first shot, it'll be... There you go, so it's not quite in the background yet. It might just be able to see it, I don't know. That looks okay. Right, so put that in there. We'll do the two... Uh, different types of replace, so 35 colon 7 to 159 colon 7. And then we'll do the other way around to replace that. Switch that around, and then we'll switch it the other way where it's 35 colon 8 to 159 colon 8. Like that. There we go, okay. So we'll just save that because it's quite big. Whenever I do anything big, I always save. Uh, now, if we go into chunk view, you should be able to see it. It has to kind of like load it. It's a bit weird with the it. It sometimes bugs out. So we've got these two, two there. We're gonna have to do some deleting then of this land down here. So can I do chunk select when the chunk control? That'll delete the chunks, though, won't it? Yeah. We don't want to do. We just want to delete the actual land. <laughs> so it might have to fly around this bit because it does seem. It depends on how much it's going to be used. Let's go underneath this and just do delete blocks. I will not show it as being deleted for a little while, but it's fine. Same going all the way to this one. If you delete, um, or if you do any actions on a chunk that doesn't exist, it kind of bugs out a bit. Look, this is, this is the weird stuff that happens with this. So let's try and figure this out. I want to have a couple of TIE Fighters around. I'm wondering if we need some smaller ships as well. Maybe. We'll have to, we're going to have to play around that area. I know we are. Right, so smaller ships, what have I got at one temp scale? Uh, Krillin Corvette, we've already got that captured. Um, immobilizer. We could have one of those, couldn't we? Literally, it's a support ship type thing. It's just in the background, like... Literally, just... Because the immobilizer is the interdictor. It's like a really, really small interdictor, so it's a small... Support ship, really. So we'll have that down there, and we'll do exactly the same thing where we you know, change a couple of blocks. Yep, that's fine. Actually, go away. So there we go. Nine colon. What was it eight? Yeah, it's eight for that one, and the next one's seven. Otherwise, we'll get a really weird looking one. <laughs> really weird. Right, colon seven. Let's put that in there. Uh, we'll also bring in some ties. I think these are going to be the smaller tie fighters. So tie fighter, yeah, one to one scale. The pretty small ones, but we're going to bring in some of these. That's, it'll still it won't, won't look right, but oops, no, we don't want that. Import that. Then what we're going to do is find a replace. Yep. Yeah. I might do these by. Actually, no, we can leave these because these don't matter too much. Don't really want it to be too panelly. God damn it, right. Let's find a place where we can pack one of these onto it. What I'll try and do is make like a little squadron type thing. Since I can't see it, it doesn't help. So if we switch to chunk view, 
That'll load. What we should have done is actually moved all of this over here. <laughs> like you can see the size of the, the little interdictor type of mobilizer. There we go. Ah, this is the wrong way around as well. Right, import this one. I'm just going to do it on top of it. I'm going to copy air as well. There we go. That's fine. And maybe get another one as well. Like that. There, I'll do. Right, so we've got a couple of those. That gives us a good shot of that. Uh, maybe on this other one. Actually, well, let's have a look at it first. Let's go and have a look at it. We'll load up a couple of those chunks and then see what it looks like. So see, you get all this stuff in the behind the scenes. You can see how long it actually takes just to do in the intro sequence, just to figure it out right. There we go. I was going to say, we can't see anything at all. Okay, so there's the Star Destroyer. There's those TIE Fighters. So I need to move this one in a bit. So that does not look like a good group at all. Um, so whether we do that, I'm going to do that with World Edit, I think. So I have a better idea of it. There we go, where's World Edit? It's a small Twix. There we go. Ah, purple wall. It looks weird, because in this text I haven't really played around with all the blocks that I've created for it yet. So I'm not sure about a lot of them. <laughs> I haven't really... Let's practice what direction is that? That is west. So if we move... That's what it needed. Do like that. We got that one in the background. We'll probably take the lights out of that one. Um, one of the problems with uh, with MC Edit is that the colouring, the coloured, um, what's it called the coloured stained glass stuff, actually does um, does it emanate light. So this one I want to remove the. Oh, that, this one actually doesn't have the Corellian Corvette underneath it, does it? So I need to pop that in. Has it got the grabbers? It has got the grabber. Okay, so we've got the grabber. We don't have anything else. We don't actually need this on it. Now, my mouse isn't working, so I can't middle click at the minute. But And the other problem as well, as you probably just didn't notice. Oh, good God. Turn off shaders. All right. One of the other problems that you probably noticed is that with CUDA shaders, it doesn't quite work that way. So I'm going to have a look at my shaders in a bit and see what I can do about it. Probably nothing. And I think I've still got in this texture pack the other type of glass. Probably don't want that one. <laughs> no, I don't want that one. Probably two. Is that invisible? Two might be invisible. No, I've got one. No, I've got three. Three, that one there. Alright, let's go for that one. That's my different tweaks. There we go. Uh, what type of roof have we got on that? Oh god, that horrible thing. My night vision's about to run out as well. Okay. Let's have a look at the back then. Back should be alright, that's good. That That's what we want. We want lots and lots of colour on that. Uh, probably this glass up here. Don't know if I want it that wide or not. Or if I want to make it look more realistic to... And this, this is the thing, because it's more of a cinematic, you don't have to be exact. Um, okay, I'll leave it like that. Fly to the front now. Uh, not the front, the next one. We'll do, we're just going to take out these these lights, really. Um, actually, we can do that a bit. What else do we need? We've got an immobilizer there. Probably do, what, an accumulator or something? Maybe another immobilizer or just a vindicator. Um, probably need some other ties around this one as well. So let's do that. Let's put that in. Right. This is a good thing, at least because I've built the other support ships around it, it makes a really cool scene. It's going to look really good and chunky as well. I'll show you guys that in a second for the thumbnail. Um, or I might do that as the end. might be the, the thumbnail creation. You know, how do you actually do a thumbnail for it or whatever. Um, I started to use Chunky. I'd never used to use it. Um, but with the Star Wars stuff especially, it works so well. It really does. Chunky is really good. It's, like a, pro it's a free program as well. Uh, Star Wars. Neat. Probably an acclimator 110. Right, how big is that? That's pretty big, actually. It's pretty damn big. Right, we're going to have that at the... Probably. Oh, we could have it up up here, couldn't we? What do you think? An acclimator up high? Um, no, not really. 
So it looks too too close. Maybe have it. Right, okay, apparently I'm using D to move it that way. Um, let's move it that way. Oh, go away, sticky keys. <laughs> sticky keys. What a nightmare. I'm trying to make it look like it. That doesn't look right to me at all. As if we have it down here, it does look okay. Now it looks like part of a battle group, you know. So put it down there. I'm going to put in... Well, what else have we got? Let's have a look. We've got... Uh, I really need to split this into ships and ground, I think. But uh, apart from that, B Wing, uh, Bell Above, Cloud City Car thing, uh, the 1 tenth Critical Vet, we do need that. I want to have that as a feature underneath it. I do not want to copy the air when I do that as well. So here, put that in there, and I want it to connect into the right place as well. So that needs to go down. And from what I remember, it was two at the back, wasn't it? One, two, down again. That's the one, from what I remember. But that looks like carpet on top. That is carpet on top, so that actually, it's going to be there, I think. Right, if we go to this view anyway. Give it a second. If we go back. Should have, yeah, there we go, slowed it now. Right, so that I think is carpet. Um, so we're going to take a risk and actually import it. We might need to put these blocks back in, that's all. That's not a problem. Right, so we've got those two there. Got an acclimator down there. We could probably do with a Thai bomber of some kind somewhere. Yeah, we'll get a Thai bomber. Right, which direction is that in? There we go, it's that way. So we're just going to have this one alone. But it's going to be up high, so maybe we'll use the little ship up high. No, so like that. That'll work. And then I want to tie interceptor truck squadron type thing around here. Maybe even have uh, Darth Vader's tie advanced in there as well. So let's have a look at our ties. We've got tie fighter, we've got tie interceptor, tie automated, and all that kind of stuff. Tie advanced, there we go. Tie advanced. We'll flip that one around. It's basically a tie bomber. That's going to be down there. And that's not showing up at all. So leave it a second. Let it load. Still not probably loaded. Not sure we can do about it. It's fine. Go back onto here. Get a tie interceptor. Oh, that's appeared. That was easy. Get a tie interceptor, which has disappeared for some reason. I think it's struggling when I actually import stuff. So it seems to be. We take these around anyway. Right there. So this time we're going to have it, you know, more like this. Copy that. Jump. Right. I'm going to have to guess at where it is. No, I'm not really going to guess, but. Lower. Let that load up again, and we'll put another vindicator, of some kind, probably around here, or something. You know, so we've got like a little little battle group type thing going on. So that's kind of right this right place, isn't it? That's where it looks all right here. Jum jum. Uh, the thing is, it might look okay here, but it might look absolutely hideous further away, and that's a problem. More problems we have. Right, have I got any other stuff that I can throw in here to make it look cool? Don't want to put in anything like that. There we go, Vindicator. So that's the... Uh, the Immobilizer is the one that can uh, stop ships from going into hyperspace, whereas the Vindicator is more of like a little cruisery type thing. So it doesn't actually need to do stuff like that. No, I'm just going to build that over there. So I want to try and do... There we go, put that in there. Then we'll have a look at all this. Hopefully it'll look really cool. You can see how much time it just takes just to, you know, do this kind of stuff. It's crazy, isn't it? And just for a couple minutes. But once it's done and it looks cool, then it's, you know, that's it. You know, you with these kind of videos, I'd rather spend more time doing this kind of stuff. You know, where I'm making sure everything looks good, good, and making a really cool scene, um, and that it looks awesome in that that first couple of minutes, um, than just rush something together. You know, and 
it's going on like 25 minutes now, I think we've been doing this. It's quite long, but it's fine. There we go, right. So, now I've got yep, the tie advanced over there. Acclimated down there. Acclimator needs to be switched over. So for mask, if I can move there. I'll just do it this way. Hmm, why is that not doing it? Ah, that's because it's um grey that I'm doing it on, right. I don't think there's much grey, is there any this is all that anyway. Right, so I need to do it the other way around. Uh, there we go. Right, eight. And eight. Then this will have a noticeable effect. There we go. That will have an effect now. This is just to make it look smoother and and, and stuff, really. Um, usually I would have done it in MC Edit, as you guys saw earlier, but uh, it doesn't really matter too much. And what I want to try and do is I want to get rid of these lights a little bit. I think we've got the like final shot. See, this looks cool now. This looks really cool, I like it. Now it's in this texture pack actually. So I'm gonna finish off this texture pack pretty soonish, I think. Just get the first first lot out, but yeah. There we go. Quite like the acclimator, it's not yeah, I haven't I haven't looked at mine for absolutely ages. Absolutely, absolutely ages, and I don't know why there's a light down there. It's strange really. Those I want yeah, the engines I want lights on. But this I don't. So if we grab, so I can't grab. I think my, I had, think I had bust my um, thing. See that's more lil lilac that colour, <laughs> rather than purple. So I might end up changing that. Right there we go. So that's that bit there. Fly over here. I don't want that one light lit up. I don't want that one lit up either. So we have to do some tweaks. Make sure it's not lighting. Fly over here. Don't want this one lit up. Um, the reason I don't want it to lit up is because it will start doing these kind of like weird. It does some weird stuff. Um, it doesn't look quite right. Now this is a really weird thing about. I'm not saying about MC Edit. You have to like put a block next to it. And I think it's because I've missed. There you go. I missed one there. It's because otherwise it has a like a, a glow value type thing. It's really weird, and you have to actually push your block against that block. That makes any sense at all. There we go. So that's all I want. Nice and like, quite dull, really. But uh, that'll work. We don't need to worry about the bridge having its own thing. The engines are all fine on all these. So if we fly over two, I think that's that's it, isn't it? Yeah, because we want the engines. We want those to glow. That'll look good in the when we when we do some little changes. Okay. So I think we're ready to start scene setting. So. Let's grab shaders. Let's get 1.6 loaded up. Got Ultra. Um, I will have a quick play with it and try and find that other one because I would like the Death Star rather than a moon in the distance in the clouds. I, yeah, I don't like that. I can't really do it that way. So we're going to have to find out what I was using. I'm sure it was like something like. It's not Silders. It's not V4 Extreme, is it? No, it might have been V4 Extreme. Yeah, it might have been this one actually. Even though it's really dark. I've got a feeling it is this one. Which is a bit annoying, but. Right, so what I'm kind of hoping for is that we can get that to load up. I don't know how we're going to do that. Right, well, first things first, we need to grab all this and get rid of it all. Except the invisibility potion. And the other one, right, so we can't see anything yet. That's the only problem, it's so dark. Has anyone got direct light on it? Right. There we go, right, so if we do... I think we have to have the first... Well, actually, it doesn't matter if it's there or not. Do the first one, so I'm, again I'm using Camera Studio. So the way that Camera Studio works is you literally press P when you want a different uh, kind of shot. So as I'm going along, I just could, like press P every so often. And at first, I just want to get a, a shot that goes straight into it, so you get a sense of the scale. And have I changed it? No, I haven't. I haven't changed that at all. So it's so there. I want to just do a fly around here, um, or maybe even in here, and get in a little bit closer. There you go. Let me do a pass by. Like that, maybe. Um, I don't know if we want to then turn around to see the engines. That looks cool, doesn't it? So I don't think down there. If we just do. Go onto the options of this. Go on to third person. Third person. Yes, there we go. This is, a, this, this, this is the recording thing part of it. So if I just do cam, go to P1. 
I just can start 10 seconds. Whoops. Can stop. Oh, it's going to record. I thought that should have stopped it. There we go. Done. All right, okay, that's why. Now I'll do it. So it, we've then got a way to actually have a look at it. Um, I do it a lot, lot slower. I'm probably going to spend a good two minutes or so on 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 that. All right, so that flies around to there. There you go. Then you, then you get an idea of where it, where you can go, right? So I'm gonna, I'm going to want to go down to like here or something. Not showing the entire engines. Then you get a nice shot of the acclimator in the background as well, <laughs> which looks cool. I just love it as it as like a whole whole thing really. Looks really cool, and we need to sort out underneath the engines as well. So if we go down to here, and get a good shot of it, so we'll sort out those in a second. So we can sort them out now, really, can't we? And we get a nice shot over here. I uh, want that more centered. So we've also got this one that I kind of want to get a good shot of. So I might. Ooh, can we do that? Can we get up to there? Can we go to P8? If I go to eight, okay. So we pan out from here. Oh, I'll get to that. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? If we saw a TIE fighter type thing. Just like appear. I know it's that's, that's, that's silly, really, but... And then that disappears. Ah, oh, that's annoying, but that's the way it is. Because then you get a nice shot of these two. I really like that. So try that out. This is going to be a really long behind the scenes. It's going to be as long as... Uh, which I think... That looks so simple now, doesn't it? I only want to kind of like fly down. I don't know, to there. Right, if we just try that. So I'll do it in 10 seconds, obviously, so it's going to whip through and it won't load everything, but that looks kind of cool. Right, we get a good look at that. Haven't. Mm, I don't like that, it's not smooth at all. So if we try it. 30 seconds now. It's a bit slower. Obviously, we're going to be doing. We should be doing about four times slower than this to, to get really good rendering stuff, and then I actually do it even slower than that. I think I get a nice good shot of the guns, nice shot of the engines, that's fine. This bit's okay. What's not okay is this bit here where it kind of snaps and just, just changes like that. I do not like that at all. Um, and that means I don't like it going back to here. So we need to... I think it's cam... Oh god, I can't remember. Cam, help. It's cam. Right, it's just cam. Cam path, orientation, cam clear, I think it's probably what we, what we were doing last, P11, cam delete, Del. delete, P11, how do we get rid of it then, there must be a way to do it, so no cam help, that's terrible, it's literally just that, um, Cam, remove, oh yeah, I think it's like that. Remove P11, no. Cam undo, is it undo? Undo. Undo, there we go, P11. Right, P11, P10 we want to undo, and probably P9, right? And then we'll give it a go at going, and we'll do it on 10. Let's do it quick. So quick fly in. Fly out. This is all fine. That's absolutely fine. This goes up to here. And I do want to actually pull out like this instead and gently move rather than that jerky move type thing that we did. I think it's this bit that has the problem. Alright, so maybe we do that instead. And then. What I want to do is I want to have a look underneath the ship as well. I want to show that bit off, or I want to... Um, and we could do that. Well, we could go above it first. So it's quite fun when we do stuff where it goes around to here. So we go to there. I don't know if this is going to work or not. It's probably not. We go back to here. Then we go up. We basically like make our way up. The ship. I thought that was going to be a bit there. Well, I think we got the bridge next, don't we? Nope, we've not got a bridge yet. Right, okay, let's go up a bit more. To there. Oh, we're going to go over the bridge. Yeah, okay, okay. So there we need to go to here. And then there. And then we need to really go around to this side 
to get underneath, and then we can have a look at the other one as well. So, okay, drop down to the, there, maybe. I don't know if you can be able to see much underneath, actually. So maybe. We'll try it. We'll try it. If I have to delete a load of points, I have to delete a load of points. It's just the way it is. Like that. I'm gonna remove these two. So I'm gonna grab a, just a random block. Birch will do. I don't know why it's freaking out then. I'll have to play it now because I've just remembered I've kind of mucked it up, haven't I? Now what we don't want is these engines to be glowing, so we're going to have to... Because my middle click isn't working, I can't bloody select it, which is really annoying. Uh, but we are going to just have to grab the orange and then grab the orange as well. Grab those two, so I've got those two there. I've just got some in the middle. Well, actually, it's a whole middle bit, so we'll instead replace that with just like white wall or something. Um, where does it go normally? Uh, did it go on top of this? I don't remember. That's fine. Put it back here. I don't think it was back there. That was there, wasn't it? <laughs> oh well, it doesn't matter. It, nobody's going to know about this, so there we go. That there, right. If we go to camp start, right. Ten seconds, it's going to really whip through now. So it's going to be really quick. Right, that goes down to there, that goes up to here. Yum. That kind of looks cool. There we go. That gets a nice shot of that then. Uh, I just want a shot like, like here somehow. And then it's just going to zoom out, I think. So just get it to go to there. So I've got this here. And then, just fades away, really, is what we want. So there. And maybe a shot like there, something. Right. So we give this a go. So this is the this is this is the thing that we use for it. If we go there. Can we with shaders turn off um, shadows completely? No, we can't. That's a shame. That is a shame. So it is it is V4 that we use, but right. So one thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to boost it a little bit. I don't think this works. It stopped working at some point. If we do cam go to P1, and we're just going to do start, and we're just going to do a 30 seconds thing here. Right, so 30 seconds, give it a go, see what it all goes. This, whip it all around, to there, back here, and then there. That goes to there, that whips around, that's fine. That'll look quite cool. There we go, and that goes underneath. So there's a little Corellian Corvette in there, and then whips back and pans right back. That I'm quite happy with. Um, so what I'll do is I turn on this so it's actually recording itself. And the video speed, it depends. So there you go, it has a good explanation down there. So one time speed would mean that if I record uh, two minutes of footage, so I take two minutes, then it'll take two minutes of footage. Um, for time lapses, obviously what you want to do is, you know, you want to have like, I don't know, one second... Well, two seconds is one second of footage. Um, to make really, really smooth, really, really smooth um, things, <laughs> you you then up the time, and that means that it gives Minecraft a lot more time to um, do all of the rendering stuff. So everything that's happening in the background, like it rendering anything, it'll be able to do. It'll have a lot more time to do it. It's actually working with Far. I'm really amazed. Actually, oh god, god, I've been broken it. But yeah, um, it gives you a lot more time to actually work work around those kind of things. You usually do it on f times free, so I'll be doing that. Um, what I usually do as well is I put something on the other screen. So I'm, I want two two minutes of footage. So that's going to be uh, if we got three times, it's just going to be six minutes. So I'm going to put on like a a video or something that I'll watch uh, for six minutes. Behind that, I just have my potion of invisibility, and I follow my camera guy. Um, the, the simple reason for that is it then doesn't bug out, so it actually works absolutely fine. Now these, I think we're just going to wait until they load, so I'll do that all that. But um, there you go guys, that was a very lengthy insight into just making that initial video part of it. I mean, that's that's like 40 minutes long, that's crazy, isn't it? So uh, yeah, uh, I might actually do these, you probably guessed I've probably done this uh, making of in different sections. So yeah, that'll, that'll probably be multiple parts. So there we go, 40 minutes, right, let's get on to... Um, 
I'll load it all up, I'll get a video on, I'll watch that and uh, get a nice video and uh, you guys will be able to see it in the actual tutorial itself and probably the promo part of it which will be coming out before any of these videos. So yeah, let's go on to that. 